Assalamu alaikum and hello to my uh, non-Muslim viewers. What has 300 in it? Spawn, number 300. And this is the latest, this is the 300th video I made. So that's quite an accomplishment. So what has 300? This guy's videos in Spawn number 300. Sorry, I'm a big comic book, uh, comic book guy now. Um, you know, I've been reading a lot. A lot of comic books but anyways i want to make a video um you know in the midst of all what's been happening and how the whole world is uh you know in a lockdown basically because of the because of the damn virus but anyways because of the damn asian virus or coronavirus or whatever um uh, i want to make a video about uh two books that started my interest in comparative religion and religious studies and christianity and islam before these books, before in uh, 2003, uh, you know, 2003 and, you know, before those times, uh, you know, 2003 backwards, um, I wasn't interested in religion. I just, I didn't care about religion too much. Um, you know, I just, uh, I just didn't see any point of following religion. So, you know, I, I wasn't like an atheist or whatever. I just, I just didn't care about religion too much. I was just... You know, back in those times, back in those high school times, I was just trying to get my grades to the point where I would get into a good university. That's the only thing I cared about at that point was, you know, maintaining my grades. But anyways, um, there are two books that completely uh, got me interested in religion and religious studies and uh, a comparative religion and, uh, you know, Christianity and Islam, the Quran, the Bible, etc. Uh, and, and it was in, I remember the day, it was in February... Uh, it was February uh, 2004, um, February uh, 8th, 2004, which um, there are two books that really piqued my interest uh, or got me started in religious studies and uh, studying the Quran and the Bible and uh, things like that. And the first book would be this book called uh, The Muslim Jesus. So this is a really, really good book. Um, I really liked uh, Jesus' conversation with Satan and uh, Jesus' conversations with, uh, you know, John the Baptist and things like that. So the Muslim Jesus, this book, The Muslim Jesus by uh, Tariq Khalidi, um, basically has hadith from, uh, you know, classical Muslim scholars like Al-Qurtubi, uh, Ahmad ibn Humble, uh, you know, uh, uh, Al-Tabari, etc., they basically have hadith or sayings and actions of Jesus and these hadith scholars or these early Muslim scholars would put them in their collections like al to be put in his tafsir, Ahmad ibn Hanbal put in his hadith collection or his hadith books, uh, you know, al tabari wrote it in his uh, history, in his volume, in his history volume set, etc, etc. Now whether these sayings of Jesus actually go back to Jesus, Jesus or they're just sayings or allegories or they're just basically uh, Arab legends about Jesus, like whatever. Uh, it's still it's still an interesting read, whether it has historic historical veracity or not. So you know this book, uh, Jesus Jesus does several miracles. There's a lot of supernatural events surrounding Jesus. Jesus is able to see Satan, and Satan's able to see Jesus. And uh, Jesus and Satan have conversations about the purpose of per, about the purpose and meaning of life. Uh, why we're here on earth, the distractions Jesus, you, I mean, the distractions Satan uses um, against uh, against mankind uh, to distract them from worshiping God. Uh, you know, one one of the things I find interesting is that uh, you know, in this book, uh, Jesus actually says that he uses women, um, women and wine to distract man, distract man from submitting to God. And, uh, you know, I really thought about this, and it's actually true. Um, a lot of, you know, man's problems arise because of, you know, their women problems or because of divorce and, you know, and then their alcoholism is also a big problem now. So, you know, this kind of reflects today's, today's problems with, you know, with people, with mankind and stuff like that. So this is a really good book if you want to know what the early Muslim scholars said about Jesus or what their stories about Jesus were. Uh, you know, and another book that got me interested in comparative religion and uh, the Bible, 
uh, the Quran, Islam, uh, 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 Muhammad, Jesus, and stuff like that, was this book, uh, The Gospel of Barnabas. Uh, the Gospel, now the Gospel of Barnabas, it looks like Muslims wrote it. It looks like, in all, in all intellectual honesty, um, you know, it does look like Muslims tampered with it or made, made stuff up or things like that. But uh, The Gospel of Barnabas is uh, it, it's one of my favorite books because it just, it just confirms it's it's such a muslim book that it basically confirms like everything the quran says about jesus right that he wasn't crucified he's not the son of god he's not he's not god uh, etc etc so you know this 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 gospel is like uh the muslim version of the gospel right uh, or the islam of jesus the the gospel of the islam of jesus that's what it should have been called but um but uh, this is an interesting book because it tells you what what Muslims believed about Jesus back in I think the 14th or 15th centuries. What what their version of Jesus was, um, you know, in the uh, in the I think this book was written in the 14th or 15th century. I think I, I don't know. I don't know for sure. But um, uh, you know, it's it just it's just an interesting read about what Muslims back in the 14th or 15th centuries thought about Jesus and um and their story their version of Jesus uh you know it's a it's a very interesting uh, it's a very interesting book so those were the two books that got me interested in comparative religion and uh Christianity Islam and uh, things like that so these were um uh these are really interesting books you can go buy it on Amazon and things like that well I don't know if Amazon is delivering now because of well that's going on but um but anyways if you're if you're really looking for something interesting to read and uh what and if you want to really want to know what muslims early muslims thought about jesus and their stories about jesus and you know the disciples and uh, the early christian period or the 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 beginning of the church then i would recommend those two books um to be in your uh in your library or in your collection um, so stay tuned. Some more videos are coming up. Uh, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be making more videos, hopefully inshallah. Uh, but I don't know because of this lockdown and stuff like that. And another problem is I'm busy. Uh, I'm busy with work and stuff like that. So I don't know if I'll be making more videos anytime soon. But um, but if I have spare time, I'll definitely drop some more videos. Uh, so I hope you uh, enjoyed this 300th video. Take care. Be safe. Um, you know, and remember to keep washing your hands and be safe with that goddamn virus. So I'll see you guys uh, later, inshallah.